I'm Mrs. McDonald and I love pandas. I love them, love them. I've always loved them. I think they're adorable, but you know what? I love them even more now because I teach children who live in China and <laughs> the panda is the symbol of China, just like the eagle is the symbol of the USA. So when I saw this book, Tracks of a Panda, when I was at the library the other day, I had to read it. Um, it is written by Nick Dawson and illustrated by you wrong. And it's about a mommy and a baby panda. And then there are facts in here about pandas, scientific facts. I will read those in another video. So here we go. Tracks of a panda. High on a mist wrapped mountain, cradled in a leafy nest, panda holds her newborn cub gently in her giant paw. Small as a pine cone, pink as a blob of wriggling sunset, he sinks, squawking into his mother's fur until her warm milk fills his mouth. For days, Panda stays with her baby cub in, the ho in their hollow tree den, but the need to feed herself grows stronger and one bright August morning, she leaves him and follows her old tracks to the patch of bamboo grass where she eats. She rolls on her back in a soft bed of ferns and grabs a handful of bamboo. Slowly, her big black nose wrinkles. These leaves smell good and she is very hungry. Before she goes back to cuddle and suckle her cub, oh, panda strips 10 stems bare. For seven weeks, the cub's eyes stay shut. He feeds and sleeps, cries and gurgles. And as he grows, his ears and eyes across his legs and like a road of hairy ink on his back, some of his fur darkens like his mom's into black. One fall day, he crawls up Panda's chest onto her neck. Something cold and wet tickles his nose and his eyes open for the first time onto a world of falling snow. <gasps> The cub grows fast through winter. He still climbs and plays on his mother, but now he also takes his first steps along the mountain tracks. But Panda has not eaten well for weeks. Her bamboo patch is dying. Now that her cub is six months old and strong enough to travel, she knows they must find a new home. Can you find the panda and the panda mom in that picture? Oh, they look so small. They look small compared to the mountains, but pandas are pretty big. Below her old territory, the path is steep. Weak with hunger, panda stumbles and bumps her cub into a deep drift of snow. She goes to him and smells an unexpected buried meal there. Snow flies as she scrapes. This deer meat is old, but it will give her strength. After eating, Panda suckles her sleepy cub, then thirsty, drinks from a stream. A shadow slips through the trees. Closer it comes, its long tongue lolling. Panda lifts her big dripping head. Like knives, her long claws slash the air. And the wild dog growls and slinks away. Oh, don't mess with mama bear. With danger in the forest, Panda needs a safe place to sleep in a tree. She hugs her the fur's frosty trunk with both arms and her strong claws and furry feet grip the bark. 
Her cub clings to her shoulder as they clamor toward the clouds. Then he leaves her and scrambles to his own high perch. When she wakes, Panda suckles her cub, but still needs food for herself. They move on. Soon she sees a new mountain rising with bamboo on its slopes. Cold water laps at her tired feet as, and she walks into a stream's dark pool. Her paws touch the bottom all the way, but in the middle, the cub has to swim. He kicks hard with his feet and his paws turn to paddles as he pushes the water behind him. He's swimming. The little bear's doing the doggy paddle. Do you do the doggy paddle? That's what we call it. This new territory has plenty of food. Panda won't go hungry now. Her cub too begins to eat bamboo. He grips a stem and copying his mother, curls his sticky tongue around the leaves. Oh, he's starting to eat bamboo. Spring brings warm rain and juicy new shoots of bamboo poke up. One day, mother and cub are feeding when they hear axes thud and branches crash nearby. Panda stops chewing. Villagers are chopping firewood. If they move up the mountain, she and her cub cannot stay. Slowly, she climbs up a deer path, her cub close behind. Clouds curl around their tracks as they go. Their hunt for a new home is beginning again. They did a lot of traveling in that book, didn't they? All looking for food. I really liked that book. I liked reading about the little panda and the panda's mommy. The panda's mommy sure takes good care of him, doesn't she? Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book. I know I did. I know more about pandas. And you can read the next, you can listen to the next story whenever I read it for my channel, probably in a day or two. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.